I think uh, things are starting to kind of look up right now. Um, just finished the session and uh, feeling quite good, feeling the strength is coming back. I managed to hit 180 today for one. Um, I hit 140 for one front squat as well before that. Um, feeling good. I'm still having like, you know, coughing fits in between the sets. Um, all this yellow crap is coming up. Um, so I think I'm, you know, finally coming out of this, you know, dark, dark period of, of training, I guess. Um, but just thinking about how I'm going to approach training um, in the next few weeks, uh, how somebody comes out of a deload. I, I mean, I, I don't do deloads like this. I haven't done in this whole program, really. Um, so I'm just trying to think how I'm going to approach um, coming out of a deload. So basically what I'm thinking is I can't hit volume because my body's not 100% yet. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and hit these singles uh, every day. Um, today I managed 180 uh, just to get kind of the technique back, just to get the, the spark back. Um, you know, there's nothing like heavy weight, you know, uh, teaching you how to brace, how to control your core, um, how to fight, grind, all that stuff. Um, now, I'm very, very mindful of my hip. Uh, I don't want the hip to kind of flare up because of all these singles that I'm planning on doing. Um, so what you guys didn't see in this video is I basically did the barbell uh, empty bar for three sets of 10 front squat. Um, and that's kind of was feeling good. Like, you know, hips warmed up after that. Um, now, generally, uh, generally, I would do five sets of those and then I'll do like, you know, 60 kilos for another five sets of, of that for 10. That's kind of like when I'm 100% feeling really good. So usually my warm up is very, very long. Um, as you guys know, uh, my body seems to love cheap volume, um, but uh, I can't, I can't afford to do that much work. Um, not yet. So the deadlift is not there. The bench press is not there. Um, it's just basically the front squat and the back squat right now. Um, but as, as, as kind of I start feeling better and better, as I start getting my strength back, I'm going to start throwing in some of these things. I think the deadlift will be first and then the bench press. It's really interesting how the bench press just falls off every chance it gets, man. Like every single time there's a disruption to training or there's, you know, uh, you know, I don't have time or if I've got a heavy working block or something like this, the bench press always kind of drops off. Um, I guess, you know, uh, the squat is my number one goal and everything else is secondary to that. Um, so I need to get my squat uh, work in and then if I can manage to do the deadlift and the bench press, then it's all good. Um, but it's just the way it is. Like, you know, when you're squatting every single day, I've said this in the past, when you're squatting every single day, it's, you don't have a lot of time. Um, you know, squatting takes so much of your, of your training time that, you know, ultimately if, if, if I had enough time, I would hit all the lifts all the time. But, you know, it's kind of hard with life. Um, so this is 180 times one. I'm very happy with this. Um, very happy with my positioning, my core. I felt quite strong. The bar felt light on my shoulders, so this is good. So check this out. So it was good. That little sticking point that I always kind of have um, was good. The hip didn't hurt, nothing hurt. So very, very happy today. I think uh, there's, there's more fun to, to be had in the next few days. I think I'm going to start ramping up the training slowly. All right, guys. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.